Hello and welcome to a driveway update as well as we're starting with the front porch or the front walkway area so you may remember that there used to be some plants here they have been removed also this corner here is now repaired or put into place the wall has been repaired we started painting it, still needs to go into the house color. Further, we still need to add some sand as grouting. We've also filled in all of the sand that came from the front area. We filled it all into here. I've added some of the bulbs that came out of the front area. We'll see if it works or not. Otherwise, I've got some uh, also some bulbs that I saved in pots. So out of everything, we should be able to save something. I see this one is starting to grow, and there that one they weren't growing yet when I put them in. Also over here. Let's just wait for the motorbike. Okay. That's one problem of the uh, weekend. You hear a lot more motorbike noise along here because the uh, motorway is just down that hill. But overall, it's not too bad. In any case, we've also started working on this part. So, this is just the front patio of the downstairs apartment room. We made a bit of a logistical uh, error. It seems that the shop where you buy the Pau de Pedra is closed for the holidays for a week, so we ran out of material to lay down some more phasing. Hopefully they'll be open up again next week. You can also see that I've had some visitors in the Pau de Pedra. It's hard to make out, but there's some rabbit paw prints over here we've also put in the box for the drain or well, not really a drain but the, the channel for the uh, sewage so now that we'll pave into there pave against it and then uh, that will work nicely into the paving and hopefully be a bit stronger well, the old structure was was strong, but was crumbling. So hopefully they shouldn't crumble apart. We've also had to do a little repair to the water pipe. Accidentally nicked it just slightly with the grinder, so to prevent any issues, we just put the sleeve on it. So that this whole pipe is a um, blue pipe, which you melt together, and therefore it uh, creates a nice firm seal and then cut all the paving along there so there has been some progress the mess of the wooden blocks and all of the stones here have been tidied up the bricks We've got two pallets left. You can see over here. So what we've done is just removed all of the dirt and the plant bulbs. The plant that was here was a very prickly plant. And it didn't flower, it didn't do anything, so we removed that. Now it's important also that we have to reinforce the foundation. it's all a bit crumbly and I got lots of problems with moisture coming in inside so maybe to flatten this all off put some plastic and then pour some concrete might help against that as the roots have de decided to grow underneath the wall which is never so good here we also have a very special olive tree 
This is an old brick with a hole. The olive tree has decided to grow straight through it with the root. So, you can just see how strong trees are. If there's a hole, it'll go. Hopefully the tree hasn't caused any damage to the foundation of the house. But we'll find out once we dig away. I also just removed part of this and all of the concrete rubble from this we will use to fill up this area again. So all of this will be removed because there's lots of holes in the foundation where moisture is getting in. Also the paving was not constructed properly so instead of the paving sloping away from the house it's actually sloping towards the house. So all the water is collecting inside there and we got lots of issues so we have to solve them and try to save as much of the plants as possible. I have already in the past removed these lily bulbs and then put them back in when we were busy here and they regrew easily so that we should be able to do the same again and then we have to put a sleeve around the water pipe because if the concrete is coming here we still want to be able to remove the pipe in future should it need replacing. So currently we have the pipe all the way around here out of the way. You can see the sun is setting and then we started cementing in on the left it's already done you just have to pour in concrete then we've removed the step for the front door and then uh, dug out around the electrical connection so we have to put some kind of box in there and also started cementing in over on that the foundation is just a mix of concrete and big natural stone there's no cracks in the foundation but the humidity has been going in and there were roots growing towards into the foundation which is not so great and repairing all of that this big black pipe is going to be the sleeve pipe for the pipe that is now on top of the roof. That is the secondary water system pipe. The manual override in case there's something wrong with the automatic system. I can use that pipe. That pipe connects directly to the pump in the ground. And it bypasses the outside tank. So, and in case there's something wrong with that pipe. We're going to put it in the larger black pipe so we can easily replace it. There's a big ground connection or earth. Step, pour concrete into here. Already put in the edging stones for here. Cut this section out. As I said, try to rescue as much of the plants as we could. So, most of the plants that are there, some are over here. They seem to all be growing. So, we'll see what survives and what doesn't. I've tried my best. All this pipe work was the old kiwi structure. And I had it next to the wall over there. And once that is complete, we have to uh, grind a new slot into that little paving there for this pipe. Dig that out. That has to be removed because otherwise the paving would be end up higher than the door. Don't want that, remove that part. So I still got a little bit left to do. Alright. Thanks for watching this update. Hope you found it interesting. And I'll see you on the next video.